Hi everybody, I want to show you um, the application I spent my last two and a half years working on. It's called Library of Alexandria. Hopefully it's not going to burn down like the original one. <laughs> um, it's kind of a private library and document archiving service. Service? Um, it's, it's an application actually that you can run on your local machines, on your NAS. Whatever, your own, your own infrastructure, you don't need to pay for it or anything, it's going to be all yours. Uh, let me show, There is a, it, it has a GitHub page. Um, in our modern age, new text documents are born in a blink of an eye, then often just as quickly disappear from the internet. We find a noble test to save these documents for the future generations. Yo, it, so it's all about um, archiving documents and um, yeah be able to search those archive documents so let me show you the search functionality I have 30 million documents uh, in the database but only 20 around 20 million is is indexed so only around 20 million is searchable um, yeah uh, let me show you how how it works so I live in Hungary near Budapest um, I'm 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 huge fan of um, ancient Rome, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of a history buff. So let's search for Aquincum. I'm not sure if if um, uh, any of you heard about uh, this old Roman settlement. No matter. Um, <clears throat> as far as you see, so um, the the search is pretty quick, even with 20 million uh, documents. Uh, I plan on indexing and and, and like archiving a lot more than 30 million and, and 20 million. But this is what I have now. I only have um, around 70 megabits of internet connection, and even that's that is over um, mobile internet, uh, an unlimited plan. So I'm I'm downloading a terabyte of data every month. I hope they like it. <laughs> I mean the operators. Okay, whatever. Um, let's see our first document about Equincom. It's this one. Uh, it's a PDF. Uh, thesis of doctoral dissertation. Whatever. Study of the Roman road network in Hungary using GIS. I don't know what is this. Uh, but this is a pretty nice document about probably the road network of Hungary, like the ancient road network of Hungary. Okay, a lot of fun. Let's close this one. Um, look for something else. Whatever, this is in Latin. That sounds stupid. Yeah, page of Roman is not a gallery. Most of the text is probably Latin in here. Yeah, that's why it's, it's, it's detected Latin as a language. So. Um, the application has um, language detection uh, built in. Uh, you can search by language. Let's look for English, for example. These are the supported uh, languages by the language detection algorithm. Um, you can also search by um, length. So, for example, let's check for novels, like pretty long ones. Yeah, uh, 1,357 pages. What the heck is this? Frontiers of, of Roman Empire, of the Roman Empire. Um, I hope that it's it's going to be able to load. Yeah, it's a, it's it's something for ants or whatnot. Probably it has a big map in it or something. World Heritage Convention. World Heritage Convention. Hadrian's Wall. UK nomination. Yeah, it looks like a pretty old document. Um, oh, come on, don't don't freeze, please, PDF reader. Yeah, so you can search for for older documents, newer documents. Uh, it depends on what's what's available on the internet. So, um, yep. Also, you can um, search for EPUBs, Mobi. What not, but as, as far as you see, there are not a lot of EPUBs in here. There are a couple, uh, but whatever. Yeah, even one PPT is available here. Okay, awesome. Um, so you can search for whatever. Let's search for Budapest. 
so as you see, it has a lot more documents, <laughs> a lot more. But whatever, I like Aquincum more. I'm an old school guy. Um, so how the application downloads all these documents, or how does it um, actually index them? Um, so there is two uh, ways for this. Uh, one of them is actually like providing a file uh, with the URLs. Uh, I have a couple of terabytes of URLs. This is just one file in here. It's 73 gigabytes. And this one is just URLs. So uh, it's, a, it's a pretty big file. <laughs> and from my previous project, I have like two terabytes of URLs already downloaded, whatever. But if you don't have such a huge URL collection, um, you can, like, there is a project called Common Crawl. They are providing uh, raw um, website data. So, so in every month, sorry. So, for example, this one is like 70 terabytes. This is raw HTML, like what every site uses, like something like this. Uh, but in a, in a compressed way, so 70 terabytes is a couple of billion or trillion. 1.35 billion new URLs, so they have existing URLs as well. It's like 320 terabytes uncompressed of actually this. Uh, and the application can read these files and parse the, the locations like the URLs from these files and no PDFs in here but some URLs will have PDFs in them and uh, the application can download those PDFs as well. So this way you can very easily create your own, own library as well. Um, how it is stored um, at the moment um, I have just one uh, Unraid NAS storing it all. Um, all of the 30 uh, million documents are taking up 33 terabytes of space. Um, these documents are uh, actually compressed in, in a gzip, gzip format, whatever. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's how I, I'm storing it. Um, um, how can you install this application if you want to do so? Um, you can go to its GitHub page, um, go to the releases, and here are the applications that you need to run uh, for this whole thing to work. Yeah, it, it's seven applications. It's not as bad as it seems. It will take a couple of hours just to set up, but um, I have a pretty pretty good, I hope it's pretty good. <laughs> Nobody reads it other than me probably, so um, whatever, I, I have a documentation for it. Uh, if something is unclear in it, feel free to create an issue uh, on GitHub. I have a couple already here, uh, and, and I will um, help you, I'm going to improve the documentation as well, so whatever. Um, 1.3 is not yet released, uh, but probably when you will see this uh, video, it will be already released, and I highly suggest starting with the, with the, with the latest version of the application, uh, that way you don't need to like migrate between versions and whatnot. Okay, so yeah, let me show you the, uh, not this one, let me show you the mm, documentation. Mm. So it is not that long, obviously it's, it's, it's not a short one when you need to install like seven applications, uh, but not even that, that long. Um, the, the hardware requirements are totally, they, they, are, they are not good at all. I feel, um, 
1.3.0 has revised recommended hardware and it's uh, it's going to be like the, the required memory is not going to be like 500 gigabytes for like 100 to, uh, to 500 million documents it's it's going to be more like 8 to a 16 or 32 gigabytes at, at, at maximum so you can like run this whole stuff on, on commodity hardware you don't need servers um, I'm going to migrate all of my stuff into a rack, rack um, based solution so like server towers and whatnot but it's it's not required you can run these applications on, on, on simple small machines as well um, obviously the more documents documents you want to to download and index the, the, the more resources you need but uh, yeah it's manageable even for a hundred uh, million documents like if if you see it's 32 terabytes like 1 million document is around 1 terabyte so if you want to have like um 100 million documents that will take you like 10 10 terabyte disks give or take whatever something like that um building a nas with 10 uh disks in it is is is, is not not that hard nowadays. Okay, so there is an installation section in the documentation. Steps are provided for you. You just need to go through it, and Badaboom, you will have everything. Uh, be careful, the application uses up um, all the bandwidth or the CPU or the memory, whatever is the bottleneck for it. Like it tries to be as efficient, efficient as possible. So you will most likely need to limit it with some bandwidth limiter or something because it will eat up even like 500 megabits. I tested it with 500 megabits per second. It, it was working pretty well. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, whatever, whatever. Um, yeah, the application is like the whole... Um, application suite is built around this bottomless archive project this is an umbrella project i'm running it's a project about oh come on project about archiving anything that's available digitally yeah at the moment only this application exists or this application suite exists later on maybe we will get something like this for images and whatnot i'm, I'm not sure um, how usable that would be for document, it works well. I really like searching in in, in, in this. Um, actually, you can find pretty interesting stuff. <laughs> I mean, even 20 million documents is is, is fun to search uh, in. So I think that's all that I can say about my project uh, at this stage. Um, if you're interested, please give it a like. Um, if you liked it, please give it a like as well. If you don't like it, you're uninterested. If you don't like it, or, or yeah, you have constructive criticism, feel free to post it as well. Uh, if you don't like it, then probably this project is not for you. Uh, I wish you a good luck as well. <laughs> Thank you for 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 uh, checking out my project, anyways. Um, okay, that's all. Oh no, I, I almost forgot about one little thing I have, this dashboard in here. This will take a long time to load because I'm running the whole application on obviously commodity hardware because I'm not a rich guy. As far as you see, this NAS is running the, the database as well. Uh, as you see, <laughs> this CPU is not the best for this, this, this kind of task. So, um, this will take a long time to load, around 50 to 60 seconds. Uh, we will see. It's definitely working. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see if it's finished loading. No, not yet. Okay, it did. So this is a dashboard page uh, where you can check how many documents um, are in the database, downloaded, indexed. Corrupt. There are a couple of corrupt documents when you are killing the application. 
um, while it's doing a download um, you will get a corrupt document you I have a script to go to to clean up these um, you get documents by type you can you can check it if you want uh, documents uh, there are queues for the URLs that you want to visit and the downloaded documents so uh, the application can like a different application can store uh, the downloaded documents. The whole thing is distributed so you can have more vault instances. I have just one vault, this NAS in here. Um, this like multiple vault instances is not really tested at the moment but it's it, it, it's implemented. Uh, I plan on I having more disks in here around 20 disks then later on move into like get a new NAS as well so have two instances um, having 70 megabits per sec is kind of a limiting unfortunately but whatever yeah it works okay that's about it uh, thanks everybody and um, I'm, I'm pretty inter interested in your feedback so if you have any please uh, feel free to write to me thank you bye